as Doncaster have it on the left-hand side and Martin chips it forward. It's headed by Thompson towards Hurst. Infield, Curtis trying to drive forward, but a 50-50 ball won by Doncaster, who try and get uh, Dodu away. Now there's a chance outside the box, and Bazunu makes a good save and just gets onto the second ball. Yeah, grabs it well. They are quick to go forward early, Andrew, as you say. Any skirmish they win, they're looking for the front men straight away. Who's trying to mark Hackett? He's got a problem. You know, he's got to watch the ball. But he's got to make sure he knows where Hackett's going at the same time. Now Doncaster try and break into the penalty area and they've worked this well. Oh, it's loose and it's cleared brilliantly off the line by Raggett. How on earth has he kept things level? And how has Dodu not scored? The attack not over for Doncaster. Harness those going to mop up at the back in front of the empty bit of the north stand. Looking towards Curtis. Curtis has spun his man into the box. Hurst header straight at the goalkeeper. Comfortable save. Still 0-0. Yeah, had to generate a lot of power on that. It was just floated up into him, wasn't it, by Curtis. Just poked it in front of the man, coming to clear it. Curtis on halfway, can't get on the ball. And now Doncaster have it, and there's all kinds of space on his left-hand side. And this is dangerous for Portsmouth, because Martin is up against Carter. Can he get the shot away, Martin? He can, but it's brilliantly blocked from Ragged, who got himself back between player and goal. I think Bazuno might have had it covered, but it's good centre-half play. Harness on the right-hand side. We see Jacobs go on the overlap. Is Harness going to use him? He wants to try and go into the area that Jacobs went to now infield to Curtis Carter's picked up a nice space if he can be found now Harness on the right to get across it's a good one Hurst now it's in the net to the far post and Rico Hackett coming in behind Hurst heads it back across goal and Portsmouth have taken the lead from what I can see Walker went near post Hurst in the middle and Hackett as you said late run into the far post caught his defender by surprise didn't realise he was there Raggett it's going to beat Odebeku in the air quite a lot, you would imagine. It's Accrington 3, crew nil, as Hurst breaks forward. Chance for George Hurst! Hurst has a goal! George Hurst, one and one with the goalkeeper. Mitchell got a piece of it, but not enough to keep it out. And Portsmouth do double their lead. It's Portsmouth 2, Doncaster 0. Well, he took it well in the end. It was a mistake by Doncaster, wasn't it? Allowed him to get in. He read the back for the square pass. Pounced on it. His last touch before he finished it was the one that set him up for the finish, though. Far enough out in front of him. Tempted the goalkeeper out, and he's just dinked it past him. Ball is lofted forward by Bazunu and Harness, if he can keep it in, is away down by this right corner flag. He'll look up, he'll see Curtis in the middle. Now Harness plays the ball to Curtis, not a great first touch. Drilled across the face and a third goal for Portsmouth. Claiming it is the substitute, Aidan O'Brien. And that is his first Portsmouth goal. Ten to go, it's Portsmouth three, Doncaster Rovers nil. Was that his first touch in this game as well, wasn't it? Right place, right time. I think the defender will be very happy for him to have it as a goal, but they kind of both went for it together and the ball ended up in the back of the net. Hackett puts his right hand firmly in the air and lost it to the far post. Raggett! 4-0! He picked out Raggett beautifully there, Rico Hackett. Fine return to the side for him. Goal and assist. Raggett has scored 2-2. Two 